Hello, Galaxy! I'm here with Star Wars Radar again. It's a little early in the day when news broke that J.J. Abrams is going to write and direct Episode 9, the next, next, next Star Wars movie that's two or three new Star Wars movies from now. Uh, a lot of people have had uh, a reaction to this, so I figured I'd give you my reaction, a hot take, if you will, not just because I am sipping some hot tea out of this Yoda mug. Yoda is wise, and I do believe that Disney is wise as well. Um, maybe I'd be a little more cautious about this news if uh, we rewound time and went back to when Disney acquired uh, the Star Wars franchise, Lucasfilm really. Uh, I was energized. I was excited because I didn't know what to expect. A little nervous. Uh, but uh, The Force Awakens, quite honestly, uh, Force Awakens, sorry, uh, honestly um, m matched my expectations uh, insofar as w when I watched it for the first time, I was really <laughs> drawn into the point where it ended, and I was not angry, but I was like, that's it? That can't be it! No, 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 this can't be it! Um, and that, to me, is a hallmark of a good movie, you know, something that kind of carries you along and, and leaves you wanting more. So I was fine with how J.J. handled uh, The Force Awakens. I've seen other movies uh, uh, done by J.J. Uh, um, uh, Abrams and, of course, uh, produced by Bad Robot. And, and I guess I, I haven't had as, as many uh, negative uh, reactions to, uh, you know, things that he's done, as others have. Some are very disappointed. They're afraid, seemingly, that uh, it, history is going to repeat itself, uh, or that Episode Nine may be an echo of what Episode Seven was. This is the way I, I tend to watch Star Wars or enjoy Star Wars. No expectations. I don't have any expectations apart from it is going to be Star Wars, and inevitably I'm never disappointed. So, I'm not going to make any suggestions that, you know, you shelve or table your excitement uh, or even attenuate it by any degree. Uh, there's no wrong way to enjoy Star Wars. You don't have to like the movies to like Star Wars. Um, but I, I guess my feeling has been I haven't been faced with so much disappointment in the fandom because I, I don't maintain lofty expectations for what may get produced. So I'm watching the, the live stream, streaming this on, on the Periscope account, and just the, the people who are commenting like J.J. And that's not to say that if you don't like J.J., you're wrong, because, again, there's, there's no wrong perspective here. But my recommendation might be to just let it happen and then react. And so that's, that's my hot take. I let it happen. I let it, let the news be known. The biggest news of the day, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm saying this knowing full well that... Um, a, a, a tech company is going to be announcing something that's going to be irrelevant in like two years and that was going to dominate the news cycle and then Star Wars said hold my blue milk uh, and, uh, and and lom uh, uh, you know lobbed this news onto uh, the uh, uh, the internet uh, which you know is exciting I, I think uh, I'm uh, I'm interested I'm fascinated I had a good reaction to the force awakens it stood the test of time. Uh, we enjoy watching The Force Awakens on a regular basis. I, I enjoy how it felt more like uh, poetry to me than uh, uh, maybe uh, what George Lucas had intended for the prequels. Not to slag the prequels at all. I'm a big subscriber to the Star Wars Ring Theory, uh, which if you've not investigated, you probably should. You owe it to yourself uh, to do just that. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't think Episode Nine is going to be an echo of, of Seven, nor should it be. Uh, but... I guess my future's in their hands, so I'm fine uh, with that. Brian Smith 500 says, hey, we get new Star Wars films. It's an amazing time. Let's jo enjoy the amazing ride. That's my feeling, which doesn't mean that I have to be, like, gung-ho about everything. You don't have to be overboard with your excitement to just know that you have something new to revel in. So I'm I'm appreciative. I, uh, not apologizing at all, but I, I liked The Force Awakens. I'm not apologizing for its flaws. I mean, there's no such thing as a, a perfect film or a perfect story in, in, in every way, shape, or form. Some would disagree. But, uh, you know, I take it as a whole. And in, in saying that, I found it very difficult to even talk about The Force Awakens because I knew that The Force Awakens was going to be produced with the intention that there would be two more films in that trilogy. So I still feel that 
The Force Awakens cannot be fully judged until episode eight and nine are out. Now that we've got JJ dovetailing and um, um, you know producing episode nine, I imagine we're going to see Snap Wexley. <laughs> that's that's pretty much a given. Uh, I, let it happen and and then judge. I don't know. I guess some people are not willing to give Disney or uh, JJ that latitude, but. I walk into every film or every, you know, uh, produced uh, series with an open mind, an open heart, open eyes, and I, I just kind of let nature take its course, and I've, I've always been excited to, to do that. Uh, Pez Liz says, I'm excited to see J.J. work his magic again. I think he did a great job with The Force Awakens. Some people disagree, but uh, I'm in. I'm all in, and I just thought I would share that take that just would not be summarized very well in a tweet uh, live on Periscope. Uh, of course, we also have the, the Facebook page and the Facebook group for the community. Then we also have uh, Instagram. Um, uh, YouTube is where I'm going to put the higher quality uh, video of this broadcast as well. So what do you think? I mean, I, I, honestly, and I'm not, I'm not going to judge any more than I would expect anybody to judge me from my perspective because it's going to be different. Uh, what's your feelings? Like, you know, lay it out there and, and, and try to remove as much emotion as you can, which is sometimes difficult to do when you're talking about Star Wars. I understand. We can get emotional about this stuff. Uh, so uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, tuning in live. Uh, let me know what you think about the J.J. Abrams news. I'm fine with it. Uh, other people who have been watching live have been fine with it as well, but I've seen uh, a lot of negative sentiment uh, in the Twitter sphere already, and uh, just curious to know what this particular Star Wars radar community thinks. No matter what you believe, I love you, I appreciate you, and may the Force be with you.